Bree Pettis here for Make Magazine, and I'm at the Survival Research Labs with Violet Blue. And <laughs> I'm excited because we're gonna get a walkthrough of the workshop here. Uh, Survival Research Labs is, uh, how would you describe it? Uh, with a group of volunteers, we've been producing the most dangerous shows on Earth with robotics since 1978. And uh, our leader is Mark Pauline. We have a core group of about 40 volunteers, and we do shows all over the world. All right, they've got tons of cool stuff. Let's go check it out. Well, this is the front of the shop. This is what you see when you first walk in. This is the pitching machine. I don't know if you can completely see it or not, but it's a wonderful machine. And basically what it does is it's this big engine and these two big bus tires right here. And the tires go in opposite directions and they spin against one, one another. And then here, this big plastic, or it's not plastic, but this big piece right here, is basically like um, a magazine. So two by fours go in the magazine and then they drop down and they get pulled along here and fed between the two tires and shot out at several hundred miles per hour into things. Yes. It's really fun. This is the main shop area. You can see we pretty much have any type of machine tool that you could ever possibly imagine to do anything you want with. Over here we have a big CNC machine. We have several CNC machines actually. We have several lathes. We have several mills. We have this wonderful bandsaw, which is one of my favorite. We have a lot of saws. Any kind of material that you could imagine or want to choose from. And materials like this, I mean, we just have oodles and oodles and oodles and piles and piles of stuff like this. So if you can dream it, we can make it around here. Back in the back, even more stuff. Another CNC. The big Cincinnati, which I think is one of our most dangerous things in the shop, actually, because it's so big and so powerful. Back here, we have even more stuff. The area where we keep all of our radio controls. We use Futabas on all of our remote-controlled machines. More work area. We just got this funky thing called a wood welder. And basically what it does is it, it zaps wood glue, so it creates like an instant bond. But mostly what I've done with it is kill flies. This is our welding area. And it's wonderful. Super smooth, nice metal table. It's just absolutely wonderful. This is all of our welding area here. There's another CNC off to your right. And if you're wondering how we find anything in this shop, it's because we just kind of know where it is at this point. <laughs> There's a couple of us that know where everything is. I don't claim to know where everything is, but I know where most things are. This is the solvent area. And then back through here, I'm going to take you where we have a bunch of machines in the back. This big pile of stuff is a bunch of machines. It's really hard to tell because they're all sort of stacked on top of one another. But I can sort of show you a couple. We have a couple of jet engines right here in between me. Over here, this is called the running machine. And it's a six-legged machine that is absolutely wonderful. And if you get a chance to, to look really closely at the gearing and the linkage, that's primarily why this machine was made for a lot of reasons, is that we wanted a six-legged machine that was powered on really, really intricate gearing and really, really amazing linkage. And it, it's incredible. It's one of, the, one of our more unstoppable machines. This is the spark shooter, this big, weird-looking box right here. And basically all this is is a giant capacitor. And what we do is we ram a welding rod in, we hit the charge, and then we fire it. And then the welding rod turns into like this beautiful hot magma that shoots out the front, really, really high and really far in an arc. It looks like fireworks. And it's a, it's a really dangerous machine, but it's really beautiful. So come outside. And this is the top of our yard. You can see it's a really big space and we've crammed tons of stuff into it. I'll start over on the right here. I don't know if you can see this completely, but basically what this is, and the barrel of it goes all the way down to the end over there, this is our V1 rocket engine. It's modeled after the, the series of rocket engines that the Germans made. This was the V1, and so we, we made a model of the V1 and we basically put it on wheels. So if you can see, there are wheels here and here, and it's remote control. So it's big and loud and really scary and it shoots flame most of the time um, and we can drive it around, which is really fun. There are more machines here than I even have time to tell you about because we've just been making machines and making machines and stacking them and piling them up. I have a couple more though I wanna show you. Come on down here. This is the big arm 
And the big arm is definitely our most dinosaur-like of all of our machines. It's very prehistoric looking, and it's really, really giant and really big. Basically, this is its little nose, little nose, it's little. This is its grabber in the front here. And then here's the big arm that goes all the way back here to the frame. Hmm. It's got an engine. It's got feet. It's not on its feet right now. It usually stands up taller. And it's got wheels on the back. And the way that it works is that the arm extends, comes forward, grabs the cement, and then pulls itself forward. And that's really about it. And it's uh, amazing when it extends all the way up. It extends past this rooftop here. It's really, really a giant machine. And it's also with the grabber can pick things up and sort of move them around as well. So it's one of those, uh, it's one of those big imposing characters of a machine. The people that volunteer at SRL are really what makes this place incredible because we have people that are, um, well, like me, for instance, I showed up 10 years ago with no skill set around tools at all, had never even picked up a drill, and just sort of got taken in by this family of amazing people and taught how to use things. And then we have people here who are designers by day, engineers by day, hackers. We have people who work in machine shops by day. We have people who are carpenters and electricians by day. We have people who work at the Stanford Linear Accelerator by day. And they just want to do something different with what they know. And they bring it all here, and, and it's fun. Uh, is there a time when, is there a SRL show coming up? We do have a show coming up. It's August 11th in conjunction with Isaiah N01 in San Jose, California. So get your tickets online now, because they're definitely going to sell out. All right, you can't miss that, you gotta go. All right, Bree Pett is here for Make Magazine at Survival Research Labs, and I mean, what do you make?